hello and welcome everyone hope everyone is fine and safe today i am going to take new topic that is called as what how to handle iframe using web driver before proceeding if you did not subscribe to my channel kindly subscribe and like this video that motivates me for making this kind of video what is iframe iframe or frame is used to embed another html document within current html document in layman language a html page inside html page if you want to show then you need to use iframe mostly it is used for what purpose showing the content of what any other web page or website to your html page and the tag of this is always going to start with what iframe okay so let's see practically for example i have created my own iframe in the browser you can see this is iframe example okay in single web page i am displaying the content of three different websites with the help of iframe so this is my parent page and these are i can say my iframe pages available inside the parent page if you want to see the source code so if you rightly here you will get the view page source view page source okay in that you will get idea the tag name is always going to start with the iframe and it is having some source from where it need to load the content and some id and name height and width so this defines the iframe in a web page you can have multiple iframe as well fine so let's see how to handle the iframe with the help of selenium web driver so in selenium web driver there is a three techniques available you can handle the iframe with the help of id and name or index you know that index always start from from 0 0 1 2 3 something okay so currently in my example the first iframe is going to have the index is what 0 which is blaze demo second one is what bing.com so this is going to have the index at what 1 third one is a magnetic automation which is going to have the index as what 2 okay and if you don't want to use the index you can use the web element okay means you need to use driver dot find element and you know that okay return type of find element is web element in the find element you can use by dot xpar by dot css by use uh, by using link tags whatever you want okay so for example if you once again go to the page source you can see the third one don't have id and name here you can use web element technique by using class you can find this iframe okay so hope everything is fine till now any question is there so please mention in the comment so that i can what answer now let's see our website on which we are going to take the example practical example i will provide link of source code of this example in my description so that you can easily make iframe at home as well no problem to this now let's see on which i am going to give you the practical example i am going to take the practical example on redif.com fine now you can see life bsc and nsc some current rate of bsc and nsc is displayed on this redif if you right click here little bit you will get idea here it is giving the option as what this frame means this part is inside iframe this part is inside what iframe okay so if you right click and you do inspection see id equals to nsc index and if you go little up you will find iframe as a tag inside this you can have the html tag and head and body once again now at the top also there is a head and body and in the iframe also you are going to have the again head and body fine so now let's see practically how you are going to handle this situation i want to know the current nsc rate with the help of selenium web driver okay so i have already created a class and in that i have written the logic of what starting browser this line is for what setting the path of executable driver that is here currently chrome driver my chrome driver is inside d drive in inside d drive there is a drivers as a folder inside this there is a chrome driver exe okay and this is what web driver drive equals to chrome driver passing the reference of parent and making the object of child okay i imported these things from selenium package now without wasting time let's start our url get http colon 2 forward slash redif.com after this you want to get the current rate of nsc 
but directly you, you are not able to get the current NSE rate. So what, what you need to do, you need to first focus on this iframe. You need to first focus on this iframe. How to focus on this iframe? There is a function available driver dot switch to switch to what switch to frame. And here you will find three things available. Here you will find what three things. First thing is asking integer argument. Second thing it is asking the string argument. Third thing it is asking what web element argument. Fine web element as a argument. Now, so we'll see very first technique with the help of ID and name. So if you want to pass ID or name of this. So suppose you can see the ID of this iframe is money iframe money iframe will switch to that iframe and after that you can fire the command of what finding this object which is that of which object this object nsc part so id equals to nsc index so i will find this object driver dot find element by dot id this is my id and which operation you want to do for getting the current nsc rate get text okay the written type of get text is what string string nsc and see so that nsc i will run let's see whether it's working or not you can see in the console, it has printed the current NSC rate. 10,000 something. Okay. 10,000 something I'm getting in the console. So that we have seen with the help of what switching to the iframe with the help of what ID here, the name is also available. I think so. Let's focus on this. Okay. Yeah. Name is also provided. So if you give the name also, I think so name and ID both are same current situation. If you run, you will get the same output at the background. You are getting the same output. Okay. So next thing that we are going to see index, how to switch to the iframe using index. Okay. So again, I will what focus on this iframe. This is iframe and at the top of this, you can see no other place is having what iframe as a tag means this is the first iframe available. Now, if it is first iframe, so you can use index as what zero. So if you want to switch to the iframe with the help of what index you need to pass here zero. So first iframe is going to have the index as what as a zero. Now frame switch to frame the frame method is overloaded okay same method with a different argument first type argument is what string type second time argument type is what int type it should give the desired output once again yes i am getting the desired output here okay so second way we have seen next thing using web element also you can do so third type argument it accept using web element driver dot switch to frame and this is the third type of switching method i'm going to use here i am i will be using again driver dot find element by dot suppose i am going to use x path okay now i am going to take the x path of this iframe which iframe this iframe okay so this iframe having uh, some x path so i will do go in what copy and copy x path you can see one second i will show right click here go in copy and in the copy you will find what copy x path you can use css selector as well no problem into this let's run it i should get the desired output Yes, I am getting the desired output here. Okay. Now, 
after getting this nsc rate i want to click on the sports suppose so let's see what is the properties of the sports properties it is having as a link text as a sports okay so let's see whether i am able to click or not driver dot find element by dot link text let's run it whether it's running or not it will print the current nsc rate but after this it is throwing some error here what is error no such element exception unable to locate element by link text sports so this was expected reason behind currently it is focusing on this i frame okay so currently the focus of selenium is inside this okay so it is it is not going to find this object so any method for switching back to the original page yes there is one method okay that method is what driver dot switch to default content so this is for what focusing on focusing on parent page parent html page so getting out of the i frame actually getting out of html page okay let's run it whether it is clicking on the sports or not will you get idea see it has successfully clicked on sports fine okay so we have seen how to switch to i frame there is a three way of switching to i frame using id or name okay this is using id or using id or name of frame and this is using index of i frame so last one we have seen using web element as a argument okay so that's all for this video okay so we have seen three ways of what switching to the i frame and then we have seen how to come out of the i frame with the help of what driver dot switch to default content so that much is for this video if you did not subscribe to my channel can you subscribe and like this video thank you and take care